That settles the wedding program, then. We still must decide upon the wedding dress, however. Not we, Benedict. Surely the lady herself must decide. What do you desire, Frederica? I... Well... Hadn't you mentioned wanting to dress in the Rosellen custom for the ceremony? Then you'd best ask the Roselle about that. There's a Rosellen village here in the Domain. I'm sure they'd make you a dress, if you asked. But what of the other nations in attendance? Surely Hyzant would not look kindly upon it. Lord Simon, is it true that you assisted the Roselle who fled Hyzant during the war, and that you then granted them asylum here? Aye, that is how the Roselle came to live within our domain. It was a source of great tension, but in the end, Lord Simon's perseverance prevailed, and a group of Roselle found new homes here. To this day, the Holy State demands they be returned to Hyzant, citing their goddess's teachings as justification. They didn't mention that once when we went over there. The roots of the conflict run deep. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect those who we have sworn to take under our wing. Should you choose to dress in the Rosellan custom, we shall stand behind you every step of the way. Is that so? Then... I see not how I could refuse such a kindness. I shall accompany you to the village. To tell the truth, I have never been there myself. It would be a good opportunity to get to know them to strengthen our bonds. As is your duty, my son. Roselle and custom it is, then. Let us depart at once to make the request. Aye, all of us! Oh, I can't wait to see what they come up with. The Rosella Village. It's kind of weird that that wasn't brought up before now, right? I could imagine it would be brought up at least once. No matter. Greetings and welcome, Lord Saranoa and Lady Frederica. Oh, hey, Billy. My name is Jerome. I bid you welcome on behalf of the Roselle. And congratulations on your engagement, as well as assuming lordship of your house. You have my gratitude. We hope you will continue to lend your support to House Wolfort. You have my word. I owe your Lord Father a great debt. Though, even were that not the case, you are engaged to one of our own in Lady Frederica. Few things could bring us more joy. We shall make the finest dress you have ever seen. On that subject, I have one humble request. I would like to incorporate this pendant into the design. The pendant you're never without. Tis one of a kind, left to me by my late mother. She was one of the Rosellen refugees who fled Hyzant during the war and found her way to Esfrost. In a twist of fate, she fell in love with the former Archduke, and thus was I born. In secret, of course. After I was born, she was sent back to Hyzant, where she met her end. I see why it never leaves you. Pray fashion the dress in this pendant's image. It shall be done, my lord. Let us delay no further. Lady Frederica, please step inside, that we may take your measurements. Thank you kindly. The measurements may take some time, Lord Saranoa. Perhaps you'd care to take a stroll and see the village while you wait. I would. I'd very much like that. Thank you. Perhaps I'll have a look around the village and get to know some people while they're taking her measurements. Were you the guy we were just talking to? No. You're certainly just make you stand out, my lord. You don't get many visitors in our fair village. It's funny, it's usually the opposite. We came to this land in the midst of the Salt Iron War, desperate to escape Hyzant's extraordinary cruelty. 
father then granted us asylum in our hour of need, shielding us from further harm. I would have done the same. We have a duty to help those in need. Or the day comes when you no longer require protection and are free to live your lives unfettered. And, and I intend to honor that. Let's work together and make this land a prosperous one for your people. I think I won't choose this one. As do I, yet to hear whispers that Hyzant demands our return. I tell you now, the teachings of their beloved goddess hide untold amounts of cruelty. We will not survive if we go back there. Pray for the future you speak of, but I know better than to blithely assume it will arrive of its own accord. Father granted the Rizel asylum on our lands. Though they once hailed from Hyzant, they are now as much a part of Ulfort as the main as anyone else. Very interesting. Is that a cat? Yes. Could I talk to you? Lord Simon offered us protection without a word about our origins or our troubled history. This generosity is boundless, and I fear we may we shall never repay it. Instead, I simply pray that our village remains protected. We are a great responsibility to these people. Bust me to keep their land free from harm, no matter the cost. Though we may be under House Wolfer's protection, we dare not leave the village. Goss is faithful will haul us straight back to the source if they catch sight of us. Do they not know that this village exists? Like, at all? That's a bit odd. It's no fun staying in the village all the time. I want to go play somewhere else. I don't think it's mad at me if I go too far. I'll be able to venture further afield when you're older. And when that day comes, I'll show you around the, the main myself. Well, that's just a lie right now, unless I plan to do away with Hyzant completely. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of fun to be had here. I'm sure your mother would be pleased if, if you took up hunting or fishing. This goes your precious to her. You do well to heed her words. I'll pick this one. It's the nicest while also being not completely dishonest. I just wanted to go hunting. Then you should try it. Your father or one of the other elders to take you. Ask your father or one of those to take you. I'm sure you'll do your mother proud. Yeah, she won't know what to do with all the meat I'm going to bring home. We'll just be a bit longer taking for Rooker's melt measurements. Please take a look around the village in the meanwhile. Okay. How about you? We play together almost every day. Today we're climbing the ladder to the roof and looking and playing lookouts. Neat. Must be strong and vigilant if we are to maintain the peace we have enjoyed on these lands. What? Oh. I always forget about the camera. So used to it being the other way. I pray today's hunt goes well. I'd love to fetch a fine pelt for House Wolford. There's a shiny over here, right? Yes. I already talked to you. Is there any reason to go up here? Don't think so. No. Over here, though. We can talk to you. We made our home here in the valley in the hopes that we'd not be discovered. Use the lay of the land to our advantage, like. Okay, so you're hiding. Strange. Well, not strange, I understand why. Is that all there is here? Think so. Oh, wait. Nice. Hello. The results share a portion of the Fortis bounty with the Wolfort, with House Wolfort each year, as thanks for their safekeeping. Their quality pelts and fresh fruit make for a significant portion of House Wolfort's capital. Let's see. Volume 10. Couldn't believe my eyes when Rizal arrived in the Domain during the Salt Iron War. Never seen anyone so downtrodden. It was me to my core to see him thriving in peace times after all they went through. Now we just gotta keep him safe. I'm eternally grateful of, to House Wolfort. Should we... Sh would not be alive today if not for your protection. As a steward of this village, I pray we can work together to ensure a lasting peace. I hope so. 
regret to say this is the first time visiting the Roselian village. Happy to see that they flourished under Lord Simon's protection the last 30 years. Very nice. Are there any other buildings I can look into? I don't think so. What about the encampment? Doesn't seem to be any merchants about. Oh, hey. So, no, I you did a gratitude. At last, I may pursue my research free from the Ministry's stifling orders. I'm a student of ice magic, particularly the fascinating crystalline structures of the ice itself. See, as the surface melts, a quasi liquid layer forms, and. Forgive me, my lord, I find magic to be a fascinating topic of conversation. Though I'm but a scholar, as we're to you, I'll prove that ice magic has a place on the battlefield. I mean, I could see it was pretty useful before. Can I upgrade anyone? I've already upgraded you once, and I need six fiber to do it again. You're not in the party right now, so I'm not sure if I should level you up at all. I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think we checked everywhere. I always feel like I'm missing something during these. But I spoke to everyone. I got every item, I think. So we're just gonna end it. Sure, they'll finish taking your measurements by now. Meanwhile... Do you understand just how dangerous it is for a young prince to go gallivanting off on a whim? Punish me if you will. But if I hadn't gone gallivanting, I never would have learned the state of things outside our own kingdom. Oh? Well, if you are so interested in international affairs, then I have a fitting role for you to play. You will oversee the Grand Norzelian Mines. Father, it would be a privilege. I fear that punishment would provoke no reflection, and so I would rather put your energies to work for the kingdom. That's pretty I clever. I shan't let you down, Father. I am not blind to your feelings, my son. I understand that my methods vex you. This guy's pretty cool. Nevertheless, I ask that you stay out of harm's way and give me no reason to worry. Of course. Mining is grueling, thankless work. Show the miners the appreciation they deserve. I shall. You have my word. But it's a thankless job. The necessary provisions have been arranged, Your Highness. You are to deliver them to Dragan. Father, may I bring Sarah, rather, Lord Wolfort? It is his job to oversee the operation, after all. And his closeness with Dragan may engender goodwill. Seems fair. I know you trust him a great deal, Roland. But I would remind you that his betrothal now binds him to S. Frost. You would do well to be wary of any move he or his house might make. So you share Franny's views on the matter. Nevertheless, Sarah Noah is a friend I could never hope to replace. A friend I trust no matter your opinion of him. Concerning words, your highness, House Wolfort must be subject to the same scrutiny as any other. <sighs> Roland. There was a... Bring these tidings to Gustadolf at once. Oh, it's a messenger bird. I was like, why was there a bird in the cave? Is that everyone? Good. I have important news for all of you. What you see before you is to be seized by the Duchy of Esfrost. You shall not speak of this beyond those in present company. Any who do will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Lord Dragan, 
are not the resources we mine destined to be shared among nations. This matter is not up for debate. A discovery of this magnitude could reshape all of Norzelia. Is that not a good thing? And so I ask this of you. Stand with me as I lead this great realm into a new era. You risk much giving us these orders. I shall do exactly as you say. I thank you. I have already sent the Archduke a letter informing him of our find. When I am appointed Prime Minister, I promise to reward you all handsomely for delivering me such a boon. You are to be Prime Minister? Or Ambassador to Glenbrook, perhaps. Time will tell. Either way, with this I shall make my mark. And do what neither father nor Gustadolf ever could. I thought he was cool. What news from Jurgan, dear brother? I never dreamt our hypothesis would prove true. So you take him at his word? I have no choice. The spy I sent to shadow him corroborates his report. And? What are his demands? He wishes to be named Prime Minister in exchange for secreting it away to Esfrost. Negotiations with Glenbrook are in the offing, should I refuse. So he means to threaten you? He is stronger than I believed him to be. Certainly what he has uncovered is worth the price he asks. What would you do were you me? Keep the secret safe, naturally. Did you not send a spy for this very reason? Surely expected this would happen. I did, and they have been issued emergency orders. Then leave the rest to me. I shall depart at once. How fortunate I am to have a brother who knows me so well. Ah, Dragan. You will rue the day you dared place Glenbrook beside me on the scales of your feeble judgment. I hand down the orders. Yield or be crushed beneath my heel. Okay. All right, so looks like Roland just joined us, or will be, as soon as we get to the next thing. No other side stuff. No reason not to press on. The dress measurements are finished at last. I applaud your patience. Is it exactly as you hoped? It is indeed. I can hardly wait to see it finished. I am glad to hear it. There he is. There you are. Prince Roland. And he wet besides. What brings you here? We were looking for you. We inquired around Castle Wolfort and heard you all had come here. Has something happened? Father has asked me to keep watch over the mines. Won't you join me? You scarcely need ask, of course. A wise course of action, seeing as you will be overseeing the mining operations. And we can present Dragan with the gifts we procured abroad. A fine opportunity to get to know the man better. He is quite talented, is he not? He is a man with grand visions for the future, that much is certain. I shall tell you more of him along the way. Then let us waste not one moment more. To the mines! I'll have the dress ready in time for the ceremony, my lord. You have my thanks, Jerome. Sarah Noah and Frederica journey to the Rosellen village so she may be fitted for her wedding gown. The young lord gains an unexpected moment of quietude while he waits. However, Roland soon arrives with orders from King Regna to inspect the Grand Norzellian Mines where Dragan has made great progress. Alright. 
There's no side stuff, I imagine, considering there wasn't any just before. There's just one cutscene in between. Okay. How will Gustadolf respond to my offer? I should think there's but one logical answer. I wonder how he's gonna hide it from us. Should he refuse for some reason, I will need Father's aid. I must apprise him of the situation. Lord Dragan, Prince Roland is here from the Crown City. What's this? Hello. Prince Roland and my friends of House Wolfort. To what do I owe the honor? Apologies for the sudden nature of our visit, Dragan. I have come on Father's orders to offer our sincere gratitude, as well as to observe the mining operation. Splendid! The miners will no doubt be heartened by your highness's presence. Does the mining continue apace? Indeed it does. There are no problems to report. And what of your trip abroad, Lord Serenoa? It was most enlightening indeed. We even brought something for you. I do hope it's to your liking. A portrait of the goddess herself, drawn with... Is this dyed salt? It is. I understand they are used as talismans in High's End. This gift would fetch unfathomable value in the duchy. I... I cannot thank you enough. It is enough to see you happy. Is it really that good? I am glad our deliberations were not in vain. Dragan, I believe it was you who said the future is in the hands of the ardent youth. We are of like mind. Let us shape the future together. Indeed, that future is close at hand. I suspect we will reach across the border and ask for your cooperation in due course. And I shall gladly assent. Yes, we eagerly await your offer. Now then, I was thinking I might examine the quarry. Wait, your highness! One of the tunnels caved in but a few days ago. I would advise against entering just now. But we saw the miners go. Did you not assure us moments ago that the mining continues apace? Yeah, that too. The miners are working to repair the damage as we speak. It is simply too soon to allow you inside. You also, you just deflected the question immediately. Like you didn't even say it. Was it caused by a blast? It was, in fact. We were perhaps a bit overzealous in attempting to remove some of the bedrock. I had no idea your explosives were so powerful. How do you make them, anyway? I would love to tell you, your highness, but I'm afraid we must keep some of our secrets. I'm sure. What I can say is that salt is a vital ingredient. Surely you jest. I thought you'd be surprised. I could scarcely believe it myself at first. A gargantuan tome in the archives opened my eyes to the many uses for salt, beyond seasoning our daily dishes. And now I pass what I've learned to you, Lord Serenoa, as a token of my gratitude for your visit. Oh, neat. The power of salt. Tis a compendium of my research on the uses of salt. I encourage you to peruse it at your leisure. I most certainly shall. Tis a most valuable gift. Fascinating indeed. I too would like to read it when you are through, my lord. I look forward to hearing your impressions. At any rate, I see the sun hangs low. Shall we save a tour of the mine for the morrow? Yes, perhaps that would be best. Yes, of course. I shall prepare entertainment and lodgings for your party at once. Did the power of salt to notes? I wonder if I should be reading those. Probably, right? The mines appear to be operating apace. Perhaps I'll survey the operation more closely until the bedding is ready. Okay. I'll just talk to everyone. We'll be sending the iron we mines here to the consortium. They'll want to account for it all as they do with as they do with salt and all else. The mine here is under the jurisdiction of a Claris. Never met a thing he couldn't sell that one. I probably said that name completely wrong. 
I was right to come with you. I do believe we've succeeded in lowering Dragon's Guard. Why would we want to do that, though? Like, we the player know why, but why do they know? Why would they want to do that? Glad to me to see a healthy contingent of miners from the Duchy alongside your brethren from Gunbrook. I've come to deliver lunch to my husband and his fellow miners. They eat like horses, and yet I still manage to make too much. S. Frost is hard at work building a rail car that will transport the ore we take from the mines. Can you imagine how much more efficient that would make the process? That would make it. Never expected Prince Roland and the Lord of House Wolford himself to, to grace us with their presence. It's truly an honor. Thank you for making the journey. I want to talk to you. Lord Dragon's father, Miss Nurse Savrog, is as, ca is as capable a man as an Archduke himself. By all rights, he should be the nation's prime minister, yet he is performing glorified border duty in the middle of nowhere. I can't imagine he's happy about it. Savrog, that's Frederica's uncle. Minor Savrog is indeed cap as capable as the miner, as this miner would have me believe. How did he end up a steward of Twinscape? Maybe he got like some sort of politi political demotion, perhaps. The future is what we make of it, Lord Saranoa. May the partnership with your house prove long and fruitful. So I see if the mines are merely the beginning. We have much work to do, and I pray I can count on you for your assistance going forward. Yay. I understand few lights broke out. A few fights broke out between the miners of Estros and Grunlook at first. Such is bound to happen when two nations come together. Thankfully they've learned to communicate, and now everything is progressing apace. That we're aware of. Must have been a hard journey to get here. The roads to the mine aren't exactly well worn. Watch your step as you return home, my lord. Despite the explosives collapsing one of the tunnels, mining appears to be on schedule. Running a mine, let alone owned by three nations, one owned by three nations, it's no easy task. The lack of unrest is a credit to Lord Dragon's leadership. To that end, indulge me with a hypothetical. Suppose you let this operation and an incident occurred. How would you respond? Seeing as the joint occurred, accord, I would resolve the matter peacefully within Hyzant's and Estros's involvement. I'd hear the problems firsthand from the miners themselves, issuing orders blindly above, from above leads to chaos. I agree with that. I would order an investigation into the cause and find the party or parties responsible. There must be no cause for bad blood between our nations. Aren't these kind of the same? I'll take this one. Meet the problem where it lives and deal with it directly. You have a good head on your shoulders and an admirable desire to lead. However, you do not operate in isolation, and Sons and Estros will see it as their duty to participate in the mediation process. So it will be up to us to, to deftly navigate those waters. I shall bear that in mind. How do I get... Oh, over here. And teaching the others what I gleaned from all that reading I did in the archives. We'll master the Estrosity techniques, my lord. There's no shortage of practice down in the mines. It's hard labor, mine. Tell you, I don't see a man here I wouldn't want for my own army if it came to it. There's just money lying around? Okay. You're paid for the ironry mine, so I'd better break off a chunk of ore. Or better yet, find a rich vein. The mine itself is larger than I imagined. I believe my hawk could fly cleanly through the tunnels. Well, we saw one fly through before. Very easily. Hello. Only miners pass this point, sir. We're clearing rubble from a collapsed tunnel. The rest of it may be unstable as a result. Cannot risk letting anyone through. I'm sure. A scarf. Is that an... Item? It is. Guarantees first action at the start of battle. That sounds good. But I'm not sure on who. Like, I don't want it on... Wow, Anna's really high level. I don't want it on Anna, because she's probably better going last. Or later, I suppose. I would think you... Do you have something? Um, 
How do I give people accessories? Like this. Let's give it to you. It's probably like a very basic choice, but he goes, he's pretty slow, so I think it's good to give it to him. That maybe I could do some weird like combo move with him and Anna. Because he does really good follow up attacks, and Anna gets to attack twice. So they probably do a lot of damage combined. Can I leave? No. Can I? No. Is that everything? Give it a new perspective. It's definitely not intended to be given this one. We got everything, didn't we? Okay, I think that's everything. Nothing over here. No. Okay. Well, if we're done, we're done. Everything appears to be in order, as I expected. Perhaps my bedding is ready for by now. A battle? But why? <laughs> Why is there a battle? You should were given some forewarning. There's when a certain urgent matter is brought to Dragan's attention. No word from below, you say? They haven't tried to flee, have they? No, sir. I've not seen a single soul emerge from the mine. Very well, then. I shall make contact with them myself. You okay? Was that? It came from within. What is the meaning of this? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? As frosty soldiers, why are they at the mines? No. Did he see through my plot? Clear the mine. Leave no survivors. So this is how they respond. Those dogs. I mean, okay. Decimate the enemy forces, and we have this is an escort fight. Okay, that's fine. Nine units. Okay. So where's? Again. Oh, he's all the way over there. Okay. Well, we definitely want... Um... No, we want Anna over here. We definitely want the healer close to him so that she can heal. Probably want you there. How much health do you have? 88, 84. Wow, okay. You seem to be fairly leveled. Is there anyone else I can get? No, we only have nine people. Okay. Uh. I'm going to. No. I think this is fine. I think we need to take care of these people, and then we'll be fine to use those two units over here. Unless I can trust someone to 1v2 them, which I don't think is possible yet. So, I think this is the best bet. Maybe. I'm gonna say first 